Hi to everyone. This is Yaku. Today I am going to explaining you how to retrieve the record from database to Java application by using JDBC program. Again, I am repeating JDBC Java program for select operation from MySQL database to our Java application. Guys, and in my previous videos, clearly I explain you how to insert, how to delete, how to update, okay, operation with our databases. Today, I am going to explaining you how to retrieve back the record from database to our Java application. For that, my friends, let us see small theoretical part, you will get more clarity, guys. You know, my friends, so here is the theoretical part. So when you when you when you are going to performing select operation select operation with a JDBC to any relational databases here we need to small clarity. See my friends when we execute a select query select query with a database and uh, our query will be executed after query will be executed. Okay, that data will be stored into the result set object. Result set object. So, if you want to display the result set object, instead of record, we will get the hash code there. Hash code. So, look here. If you display the reference of the result set object, then it will not display the data available in the object. Instead, it will be display the information of the object that is it will display the class name followed by the hash code that means when we are going to sending select query from jdbc to any relational databases after select query will be executed data will back and stored into result set object if you print result set object simply we will get a, this hash code my friends sir I want to print that data. Then if you want to print or, or read the data, so the responsibility taken from the programmer. Here we have a summary. If we require the data available in the object, that is, if you want to read data available in an object, then, then, then it is the responsibility of programmer to read the data. Look, my friends, here I given one flow. One flow I given, understand. So this is my Java application. In Java application, with file and code, I given one query. The query is called select query I applied. So that select query slowly go to the database. It will be executed and get back the complete table data. And that data will be stored into the result set object. And from result set object, I want to print one by one. Then in result set object, we have a, some getter methods like get int, get a string, get a float. Like these methods we are going to using print the data one by one. Right? So clear my point and come to the point, sir. So here again, I'm uh, repeating you. The JDBC driver will receive the record from the database server and convert them into the result set object. Then send the result set object to the JDBC program. The JDBC program will always receive result set object containing the data given by the database server. Suppose when you are going to performing the select operation by default, by default, our cursor will indicate first record by using one method is called method is called next method that is called a result set pointer result set pointer so based on this one our select operation will be performed so let us see guys okay i will show you one application with practically you will get more clarity now let us see one example how to perform our select operation. And before that, my friends, I will show you. Now I am going to showing you my database. So let us see here MySQL database. In MySQL database, already I have a one table. 
the name of products. Now I am going to log in with the MySQL database. The MySQL database username is root and password also root. And here I have a one database. The database name is what? Q Java DB. So here I have a record, one table that is what products. Select start from products. Looks here carefully. Guys, understand. In products database table, I have a two records. Two records with the name Dell and I4. And this table contains okay the column names are pid p name price quantity total discount gst invoice bill so these are the my database table in database my data in which format my friends in tabular format same format we can print it also but i am going to using result set object so that we can print this record values one by one in your Java application. Then how? Let us see the one example with practically, you will get more clarity, right? So now I'm going to here. Now here is my uh, project folder, JDBC code. And in that come to the SRC, right click on it. Now I'm going to create in the one class. The class name is called okay select operation or select the product select the product and do take the main method and do finish my friends you know friends okay before going to writing the any code we need to import the sql package for that i am writing import java dot sql dot star semicolon and do save Okay, if you want to perform any CRUD operation with JDBC, compulsory we need to write file line statement. The file line statements I am going to writing between the try and cache block. Try and cache block. So if any runtime error will be occurred, and this try and cache block will be handle it. So understand. Just I am going to throw in my EX object. So to perform CRUD operation, now I am going to in the step number one. The step number one is what? To loading the driver class. Okay, class dot for me. And here I am going to write in the driver name. Suppose com dot mysql dot cj dot driver dot sorry jdbc dot driver. So this is the MySQL driver we are loading into our application. The next step is what? To create the connection with connection interface. Connection on is equal to use the driver manager class. Driver manager class. Having a one method, the method name is what? Get connection. Get a connection. Give me one minute get connection and a spelling mistake here sir driver manager driver manager the name is what dot get connection and use the url url name is what mysql colon sorry jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash then use our database uh, port number that is what uh, 3306 here it is local host colon 3306 slash and our database name my database name is what q java db url is completed then use our database username that is what root and database password also root so this is the creating the connection statement so once statement is completed now i want to perform the query create the query so for creating query i am going to using the prepared statement prepare statement ps is equal to con dot prepare statement method and here i am going to the query select 
star from products and retrieving all the records products like this one so okay actually the select query the query is going to executing and sir actually prepare statement is used for to, to execute the parameters query so i am retrieving all records so that what i am doing i am instead of prepare statement i am going to using the statement interface then use for sir create statement create statement con dot con dot create statement you can use it so that you are not required to apply this query please understand okay now I, I want to create the query so for creating the query i am going to using the result set object you know okay result set object rs is equal to and ps dot okay execute query. here i am going to giving the one query is called select star from products observe one thing so our select query directly going to the database and uh, the query will be executed in db and get back the response and store data into the rs object and if you print a rs object here i am going to be showing you simply if you print rs object instead of data it can be print a hash code can print hash code now i want to print a data which data in rs object then what we request sir okay we need to use okay we need to use okay getter methods within the result set object then how to print it for that i am going to using the if condition okay then rs dot here next method indicate the okay our result set point and understand methods to print all the records one by one so first we need all column names or column count how many columns we have here one two three four five six seven eight columns so that i am going to taking the for loop here for and in there i is equal to one and i less than or equal to a less than or equal to eight columns and i this place and uh, to print uh, all the column values then use i am going to using uh, one method sir rs dot uh, rs dot uh, get a string method get the string of i am going to use it. understand here instead of get int get float get double we can use get string also because of uh, Guessing is a default method of all type of data type so that it can be work easily. So simply you can save your application. Let us see my friends. Okay, is it executed or not? And after giving that, don't forget sir, close the connection. Con dot close the connection. Close the connection. Then save it, my friends. So this is the our select operation code. Once it is completed, simply right click on it, run as Java application. Let us see what happens uh, here. We are getting the error. What is the error? Com dot mysql dot cj dot jdbc drive. So what happened here? Okay, class dot for name. Here I forget the spell mistakes. Huh? This is not jabc. It is a jdbc. Again, save it. I right click on it and run as java application let us see what happened okay guys understand so first i given this result set object so that okay just it can display in the hash code after that our query will be executed and by default it can display in the first record first record look here my friends okay in the, in our database this is our first record same record we displayed here right but uh, when i am going to performing select star from products this query bring all the records actually but it can display only one record because of uh, we given here if condition if condition okay suppose you want to print all the records 
from the database table. Then use looping control statement. Looping control statement. Simply, I'm going to change small change. What I'm doing instead of if you can use a while condition. So once you use while conditions, how many records are there in database? All the records will be displayed. Now see, save the application. Again, right click on it and run as Java application. Let us see output. Look, my friends here. Okay, this is our first record and this is our second record. And here even problem, our records are printed one by one. But uh, if you want to arrange your record in table or format, we need to use the result set interface object. Right? Guys, I hope you understand. This is our select operation and very, very important operation from JDBC to any relational databases. Sir, and some students will ask you, sir, here you given with a uh, what MySQL database, then how to go with Oracle database. Friends understand, same statement, simply change the one line code. I am giving my friends, okay, this is for MySQL and this is for, I am giving the Oracle database. So here I am giving for, okay, this is our MySQL database and this is for our, okay, Oracle database. Just I am going to change small thing, Oracle database just two lines will be only will be changed so instead of this one simply remove this one the driver name is what oracle dot jdbc dot driver dot oracle driver oracle driver this is the statement and uh, for oracle database connection statement Okay, simply same statement I am going to copy. Same statement I am going to copy. So this is for what happened. Okay, Oracle database connection. Oracle database connection. Connection. What will do? Same thing JDBC and remove this statement. JDBC colon okay oracle colon thin colon at the rate local host colon 1521 colon xe double quotes slash and then use a database name suppose my database name is rose db and uh, my password also rose db so simply these two two statements will be changed and the remaining steps are same to same my friends okay and this is what oracle database i commented my friends please understand and which one is not commented that is what our mysql database okay i hope you understand thank you please subscribe my videos and share to your friends also thank you everyone